internet. It is Sunday, which means it is time for this week's plan with me video. And by saying that, I do kind of mean that I'm trying to do weekly plan with me videos now, which I don't want to make any solid promises just yet because I'm pretty nervous about committing to that. And that's only because, as you guys know, I work full time, so I can only film on the weekend because I use natural light to film these videos. Um, there's a window right in front of me, so that's how I film my videos and I don't have natural light during the weekdays. And the other problem is that I don't have an artificial lighting setup, which is something I'm actually looking into. I would love to have a setup like that just so I could film at night or any other time. It would just make life so much easier. So today I thought I would film in my so much crafting inserts. So this is an old sticker kit. I think I got this last year, so I'm very sorry if you can't get it now. But I bought a couple of these and I actually want to try them. This one is from Paper Rose Planning, which is one of my favorite sticker shops. I love, love, love her stickers. I thought this would be really good for planning out this week's activities around what I need to do, around what I need to do for YouTube on social media and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to try and see if I can stretch this kit and make it work for me. So this is the week we'll be planning in. It is this week, although by the time you see this video, it'll be Saturday because I take a week to edit my videos. Um, I just take a little bit longer to edit my videos. I'm going to start with these strips because I feel like this is the equivalent of the bottom strips, but in the personal platter. So I got those strips down. I had to just trim them down a little bit. Bear with me as I try and figure out exactly where I want to put stickers because I, as I said, I haven't planned with this kit before so I'm not really sure what, how I want to do stuff but I'm going to put down this to-do list. Then I'm going to put this cute little sticker just put it here. I think it'd be cuter if I just put it here. This is convenient. There are three half boxes well, kind of half boxes, and I have three videos that go live every week, so... I'm gonna be a bit here and there everywhere, so I'm very sorry if it doesn't make coherent sense, but... I'm going to... Put this here. I should put it at the bottom. Now I'll put it at the bottom. Okay, so I've got my Kiki K haul video going out on Tuesday, so I've got that marked down here. And then on Friday... I have a beauty video going out. I haven't edited it yet, but it's basically one of my first single brand only first impression slash makeup tutorial or watch me get ready sort of videos. I don't know. I'm still trying to find my way on that beauty channel, trying to figure things out. And then Saturday is going to be when this video goes live. So I'll put this down here just so I can mark those days. So those are like core days. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two stickers here to mark blog posts. So I only have two blog posts at the moment that go live. I was hoping I could do them more often, but I just, as you can see, I have a lot on my plate, especially because I have a full-time job. So I am doing the best I can. I think I'm probably stretching myself a little bit sometimes, but Never mind. Um, so I do a general blog post. So this is for my main, uh, my beauty blog, by the way. I don't have a planner blog. I tried to start a planner blog and then I just realized I was just getting way over my head. So I've just decided to par down to this. I remember if you've been watching my planner piece for a while, then you know that probably a month or so back, I admitted that I had just kind of burnt myself by trying to plan too many things. So what I'm trying to do is do things in increments. For example, I used to do only one planner video then I built it up to two then when I was comfortable I added oh sorry these are my planner videos then when I was comfortable I started adding my beauty video and then well this blog post just tags to my beauty video and then when I felt comfortable with this I added one extra blog post and that's kind of how I'm going to keep things moving where I'll try and keep things consistent and then when I've reached a level of comfort or like I've got enough of a buffer, I'll add something else on, I'll add something else on until I get to sort of a maximum capacity state. I wonder how this weekend banner works. So just, if I just sit it here, I feel like I need something extra. Like some washi tape to go across. I need some washi tape, I'll be right back. This seemed like appropriate washi tape and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just... Uh, uh, maybe it'd be easy if I did it this way. There we go. Oops. There we go. 
Okay, and I'll just get a ruler to kind of rip this last bit off. There we go. Nice and clean. Awesome. And then I'll put the weekend banner in the middle. There we go. I don't know, I think that just looks a lot nicer, more interesting, I guess. On Wednesday night, I have a bit of a masterclass on, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna add that. Uh, stickers are so small, so I love my tweezers for it. Um, yeah. Got a little bit of a masterclass on on Wednesday. I'm always trying to improve and learn new things and just get better at whatever it is that I do. And so I've got a masterclass on SEO. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with SEO to be honest but I think you can never stop learning now I know I said that this planner was really just for my social media but I mean they've got a bill juice sticker and I just want to put it down because my phone bill is usually due on the 20th every month so I'm just gonna put that down even though it has nothing to do with all of this stuff I only have three left to do stickers like in terms of flags I'm trying to work out what days will need it more i think wednesday will need one i mean i'll have to make lists for every day but i guess how i style them out will be very different each day and then i've got to get one on for thursday as well i don't think i have anything on, on my social calendar on thursday so that will be a good working day for me and then sundays is always always an active day So Toby has recently ordered the DigiSpark. He's really getting into review videos for tech and gear and stuff like that, which is awesome because I love playing with gear and tech, so it works out well. And so the Digi he ordered the DigiSpark, which is due to arrive on Thursday. So I think he's probably going to want to head out sometime this weekend to test drive it and see what it's all about. And I'm kind of curious too, to be honest. It depends on the weather. The thing about drones is that you cannot fly them on rainy days. And right now, Melbourne is kind of all about the cold rainy days. So we'll have to play it by ear. I still need to do lists for all the other days, but I just don't know how I'm going to style them. I'm going to try like today. And then maybe I'll get some of these down. You know the problem with using these? is that you need to know how much space to put between them before you hit the bottom because, yeah. <laughs> I, I felt like maybe if I knew ahead of time I could have put a fourth one down here, but it wouldn't look right. So I'm just gonna put three down. Oh yes, Monday is technically payday. So I'm gonna put that just here. It's still technically grocery shop, so we need to make sure we do that. Well, I'll be filming next week's plan with me on Sunday. So I'll just put this down here. This is what I'm working with now. I'm just trying to figure out what else could I put down? What else would make sense? I think I'm gonna have to reach into my old sticker books to complete the rest of this. So just give me a second. So this is what happens when you do so many plan with me's and you're sticker obsessed with kits. You do have a book. You guys have already seen this, a sticker book where I keep like scraps from old kits that I've used. But on top of that, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can fit it into screen. You have all of this can't really see it but this is just tons and tons and tons and tons of like half used sheets sticker sheets and then I have like oh it's a bit heavy then I have another folder right here of old kits and just bits and pieces from previous kits that I haven't used but I don't want to throw the kit away because I'm just like nothing gives me more satisfaction than only throwing away a sticker sheet that is 100% used. I don't know, am I the only one that feels that way? Like I really just want to use the entire sheet. But I do honestly get a lot of satisfaction creating these pages in my sticker book where I can just like kind of cut down the sticker sheet so it just all consolidates to one page. It's better than having like four sticker sheets that are half used floating around. I just feel like this just makes me... I'm just happy when I go through this and especially when I can start using this and then I just kind of want to Okay, I'm going off on a weird tangent now, but like for example, here I stuck all this down and then I ended up using these and now I kind of want to like redo this page where I can cut this out so that there's no like blank space and so everything. Okay, I'm getting really, really rambly now. Anyways, back to this. I think I need like 
a massive maybe supplies list or something because throughout the week I'm always thinking of things that oh I should go buy that for this next video or this blog post or something like that so that would make a lot of sense so I'm just gonna flip through my book and see if I've got a sticker that would be appropriate for that okay this is what I call serious luck I was going through my old sticker kits and I remembered I did I don't know if I filmed a plan with me but I remember buying Paper Rose planning stickers for my Erin Condren and this is one of the old kits that was left over so I could totally use some of these stickers I'm so happy this one would be so good for tracking my planner Instagram and making sure I do post every single day. That's definitely one of the goals I have for my planner Instagram is to be really more active and more engaged in that. I feel like because I'm splitting myself between two Instagram accounts right now, it's really hard to be fully committed. Uh, oh no. Okay. I regret that immediately. I ripped the paper. It's okay. It's slightly crooked, but we can get over that. Selena, let's just ignore that. So I'm putting down these extra little strips here. I just feel like they add a little bit of something extra to the planner. So it just looks a little bit more interesting. And I guess I can write stuff on there or stick stuff on it as well. The balloon is going to be so cute. Put this here. Oh yes, I do need to make sure I make a note about filming. I want to film a makeup video because since we're going out for dinner on Saturday night. So I want to film a makeup tutorial or well, a get ready with me rather on that day. So I just make sure I remember to do that. This one, I'm going to use Don't Forget. Uh, I need tweezers. <laughs> I'm gonna put this just up here so that I can make a list of stuff I need to buy throughout the week or by the end of the week usually. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to now write down everything I need to write down and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and this is the final spread and I actually quite like it. There's a lot of white space which I'm big fan of recently. I used these camera stickers are from Violet LeBeau. I have a whole tin of samplers because Violet is constantly spoiling me with stickers but I think every other sticker you see here either came from the original personal kit or came from the Erin Condren version like leftovers that I had but mostly this one as you can see I've used most of the stickers but there's still quite a few leftovers here. That's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm still trying to figure out my way around how to plan for all my online activities so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you don't want to miss any of my future plan for me then be sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video this is selena reporting from my room back to you internet Bye.